What's up boys? Today I'm checking out Moods Prologue, an upcoming action roguelike looking game, and it's currently sitting at 100% positive over around 40 reviews, which makes it seem pretty promising so far. So we've got Sorrow, Lethal, Angry, Pride... I'm not sure exactly what special abilities they have. Looks like the weapon is up here. 7.4 bullets a second, 20 bullets a second sounds kind of funny. 25. Let's try the super fast gun here. So standard movement, aiming. I don't think there's auto attacking. There's a special ability and a dash. I guess the bullets per second includes the total projectiles that you're firing each shot as well. Scrap is a currency, machines required to operate, drop from enemies, crates and barrels, lose all scrap when you die. So you've got a big of a roguelite element there. Weapon modification, add-ins, behavior of your weapon, drag and drop, limited add-in slots, but your inventory is limitless. So I guess I'd choose one of these to put onto my arc blaster. Extra bullets do less, but they can divide on impact. Sounds pretty cool. Higher crit chance and multi, good damage, but not very interesting. Shock all enemies as they travel. I can't see what shock does from here. So let's grab the splitting thing since that sounds pretty funny with the shotgun. So Occasionally, they'll bounce off of whatever they hit, it looks like. Fight through rooms full of enemies, find upgrades, try to defeat the boss at the second level. Transported to the next area, different enemies and another boss. In between runs to unlock permanent upgrades. So we've got some meta progression here as well. I can't seem to talk to him currently. So it looks like we're into the run now. So with a shotgun, I am fairly short range if I want to maximize my damage, so that might be a bit of a risky build for my first playthrough. Okay, I should see what my special ability does. I summon a little doggo. So we've got a green add-in. Smaller but faster and deadlier. So it'll be harder to hit with them, but they'll move much faster in a small amount of crit. Not firing for 3 seconds sounds kind of boring. With extra bullets may spawn them twice sounds insane what, if, what I've got going on here. I guess that probably only works on the splitting thing then. So I've got chance times chance I guess. Was there another room back here? Yeah, pretty short range when I'm trying to maximize my damage here. Looks like there aren't iframes on the dash. But I'll have to try that a couple more times. Music is kind of quiet. Let's see if I can find some scrap or anything at the barrels, I guess. Yeah, not sure I really like the shotgun. Could be crazy with some more bullet modification stuff, but the range is pretty short.
doesn't seem like I can hit him while he's in the air. He's got little traps if you run into the red lines, it looks like. So you have to destroy the stuff and then walk all the way over to them as well. That's a bit annoying. Could probably lure them into that barrel. Doesn't seem to have really done anything to them though. Level up. The death of your mech dog causes an explosion. Increase for a short time after mech dog dies. Follows and attacks enemies, freezing them. That sounds cool. Short distance teleporting. Transports you to a further stage. Choice in what item or reward can be found there. Advance to the next level as soon as you find the next SDT. Add-in crate, booth that fully heals you, armor crate, I'm not sure what that does, so let's check that out. Let's see what the freezes do with the doggo. Yeah, it's gonna be pretty hard to hit guys that have a lot of projectiles near them with such a short range weapon. Let's see what the small room over here has. The shop sells weapon equipment add-ins. Find a shop on every second floor. Not the biggest fan of that particular behavior. Well, sucks to be you. Scrap required to start. It doesn't seem to tell you how much, though. Some type of roulette. So he increases the prices if you destroy stuff. So I guess it would be best to buy from him and then destroy the stuff. Show me those wares. So, I think I have two add-ins max, right? Chance to set enemies on fire. Chance of dealing critical hits and critical damage. Projectiles have a chance to temporarily charm hostile mechs. Well, I think I like my splitting stuff in bullet multiplication, so I'm gonna pass on that. Take that. Your gear sucks anyways. I don't know what that is. Aren't lost when you die. Buy permanent upgrades on the base, so that must be some of the meta stuff. I am missing a bit of HP, so maybe I should take that. Healing seems pretty scarce so far. Doggo up. Dash out of all of that. That's a lot of projectiles. Looks like he has a frontal shield as well.
feel like it may as well auto reload you between rooms as well. It doesn't really add anything having to do it manually between them. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you can hit them in the air. And you're often going to be hitting barrels and stuff right at the end of a room anyways. Armor parts improve your shield and health capacities. Inherent feature that can have varying effects. So, shield value reload sounds kind of nice. Health, elemental resistance, explosion. I think I like the reload. Looks like there is a little sweet spot for the reload that speeds it up a bit, but those are always really hard to time when you're getting into a new game. Looks like those bounce off the wall a bit as well, that's pretty dangerous. So he's got a shield up. It's got a little bit of a healing there if you don't engage him for a while as well, it looks like. Yeah, really not a fan of the shotgun on this guy. The range is just so short. You have to take a lot of hits sometimes just to get some damage in. Level up. Mech dog duration follows and attacks enemies, freezing them, so that will improve the damage on him slightly. Damage to your mech dog is sent back to the attackers. Let's grab this so he's a bit better at freezing and stuff and bites them faster or er, for longer. Bosses will engage in a short conversation, differently to certain emotions, more difficult if offended, but increase the reward. I'm gonna go with that one since I'm the sorrow guy. Foolish is completely uncalled for, you really hurt my feelings with that. Makes you a fool? Those are simply facts. Don't get hung up about it. He feels bad about insulting me. That was pretty... Okay, that hits you almost instantly. Wow. This is going to be really hard on a short range, dude. So you have to dash before he even swings at you to get out of that. Then it's very hard to even get in range to hit him. Yeah, I couldn't dash through that ability, so it seems like there's no iframes on the dash. So I need to stand back when he does that, so I can move through the cracks on it, since you can't dash through it. Dash out of the strike. Oh, that hit me that far away, wow. So I'm going to lose one of my currencies, but I keep one of them, I think.
seems like a very punishing fight for a short range dude though. So I could have read that and saw that was short range. Ancient records of the creators, powerful bolts that breach the hull of almost any mech. Standard submachine gun. Ordinary pistol. Let's try whatever that is, some type of crossbow it looks like. So it's a single shot, but it has a better range. Let's see if I can get any uh, meta progression. Total health of 10 points. I don't have any of those. So I can't afford anything, but you can get shield, HP, shield. That's for only the last shield block, but that's for all of them. For the first one, missions with a small amount of scrap. Seems pretty limited currently. An electric nova that deals damage. Sounds like that's going to be around me, probably, so might not be the greatest on a long range guy. Chance to spawn a meteor. Seems like more of a fast attacking thing. Chance to drop a noxious puddle while traveling. So that at least should be as it's flying around, so maybe that could be good. So we have one right there, but it seems to have a pretty small area. Seems like trying to reload on the sweet spot is going to be pretty important on this guy, since you're constantly reloading. Okay, you can actually left click instead of pressing R, so that makes it a bit easier to do. But it also fires the bolt instantly, so you have to be really on top of aiming with that as well. So it seems to only be when you fire the bolt and not when it's flying. So the description is slightly off on that and it's actually a bit worse than it sounds like. It's actually pretty annoying to break barrels with a crossbow, so I think I'm just going to skip those and see how this guy plays out in the run. I'm not going to try and min-max everything here when it's annoying to do so right now. So unfortunately this weapon seems like it's going to be kind of bad with chance based stuff because you're spending a lot of the time reloading and then just firing one bullet at a time. Weapon damage dealt to bullets and you can destroy enemy bullets. Critical hits spawn a ring of swords that pierce enemies. That actually sounds kind of cool but I don't know what my crit chance is. Projectiles have a chance to freeze enemies. Sure, let's try that. Stash filled with scrap and valuables, weapon crates. Let's look for some more add-ins and see if we can get anything that synergizes well with the crossbow. One other thing is that the sweet spot on the reload is so small that I'm just sitting here staring at the reload bar just so I can try and hit the head.
Makes it very hard to look at stuff around you. Alright, this is just really annoying. Just running around with traps constantly firing everywhere. Yeah, you have to be very spot on on the sweet spot as well. There's not a lot of leeway to miss it. Level up. Oh, I forgot to check my special ability on this guy. Hit by the arrow are corroded. I can't see anything about what corrode does here. An additional arrow at an angle. Let's try that. So my special ability, some big arrows that look like they have some sort of charm effect on them. So go to shop, see what he has, and then break all this stuff afterwards. Chance to temporarily reduce the damage. Chance to spawn extra bullets that orbit the player. That would have been cool with the short range dude I had last time. Chance to spill piddle, puddles of lava upon impact. I guess I could combine that with the poison pool thing and then I'd have like multiple damaging areas spawning. Might be kind of interesting. Can I afford that? No. That's 271, so I'll see how much the price increases as you break stuff. So it still seems to be the same, but I won't have enough scrap to buy anything anyway, so I might as well just break it all. Yeah, it's pretty annoying to... Purpose of life in question, it's pretty annoying to break stuff with a crossbow. I don't really want to sit there and just shoot barrels all day. Although the lava pool would have been kind of cool. Okay, I actually managed to dash through this stuff there. should be a bit more forgiving with how small it is currently. Also, the aim assist is actually making me miss sometimes. It's firing at an angle to where I'm aiming and it's just missing guys who are right ahead of me. So I am getting some crits naturally, so it looks like you do have a base crit chance for some of the stuff that scales with that. I'm aiming directly on him, but I'm missing him right there. Like, my cursor was literally on top of him. Chance to shoot extra bullets to the side. That sounds pretty cool. Projectile slither like a snake gaining range and critical chance. Also sounds pretty cool. Chance to add two extra bullets to them.
Those sound very similar. 15% chance minus 53% damage. I don't know, this one sounds funny, so I might try that. Might be bad, but maybe the moving back and forth will actually increase the chance to hit it in some cases. I guess the bar does kind of grow yellow as it's at the sweet spot. Maybe it should have some extra piercing on the slithering thing to go with it. Explosions! Let's see, who am I? I think I was purple. Explosions really suit you, my guy. Aw, shucks. Thanks for saying that. He appears more vulnerable and slow. There's some of these sweet spots that I'm hitting, but it's not actually working for some reason. So if they made it a bit more forgiving, that probably wouldn't be as much of an issue. And then right there, it just disappeared for no reason. Right there, it disappeared again for no reason. That one, I was slightly early on. That's a pretty big bullet hell. until they die and jumps to nearby enemies. Charmed enemies take all damage they dealt with an increase once the effect ends, or arrow deals damage and charms in an area of effects. Uh, none of those sound that cool here. Maybe the AoE to go with the extra bullets. Make it as effect as wide of a radius as possible. So, slight increase to a lot of stats. One max ammunition would actually be pretty good with this weapon, I think. Range and reloading time would be pretty helpful. Periodically shock all enemies while they travel. That sounds good with the slow speed, actually. Chance to explode, dealing damage in an area. I'm gonna try that because it sounds funny with the Sidewinder thing I have. Music is suddenly extremely loud. So it said I could do more bosses in another area, right? After the first one. But I've been to everything here, haven't I? Okay, hold T to return to teleport room. So this must be the... Oh, this thing on the ground, right. 
High King Mitron the first. I guess I have to go there. And then stash filled with scrap, armor crates, adding crate. Let's go with the armor crate. Don't think I have anything there yet. So now my snakes will move extremely slow, but have an area that shocks around them. I could really use some plus piercing if that's an option, since they do just get consumed on the first enemy they hit though. I can kind of shoot it to the side of them to try and get more shocks on them, but that doesn't really seem worth it. Very hard to watch the reload bar when there's a lot of projectiles flying at you. These guys are immune for a pretty large amount of time. Elemental resist. Teleportation shield recovery. So I guess when you change an area, you get one of your shields back? I'm not sure which is better between explosion and elemental, but the Recovery seems the most useful to me. Eternal currencies may drop twice. Okay, so they have a special ability as well. Discharge deals damage to enemies. Damage against boss enemies. The boss enemy damage seems pretty useful. Yeah, sometimes you just don't even have a sweet spot on the reload bar. And then right there, I actually got it in time, but it didn't work. Definitely use some small improvements for that. Not sure if those damage me, but I'm gonna play it safe there. Those guys are just constantly flying in the air. You can literally get like one shot in between it, maybe two if you're fast on the reload. Shop would be cool somewhere. Add in crate, weapon crate, booth that fully heals you. Let's go with the add in crate.
damage at full range. Return to their original location and deal more the longer they travel. Chance to spot a ring of extra bullets while traveling. Hover in the air for up to six seconds as long as you continue to fire. But I can't continue to fire with a single shot weapon. Chance to spawn a ring of extra bullets sounds pretty cool. That also sounds pretty cool. I'm curious if that works even if it hits an enemy, so I want to see that one. So it looks like it probably can't hit something in order for that to work, which makes it kind of bad in most cases. Unless there's some way to get a lot of pierces or something. Chance to corrode enemies. Deal damage to enemy bullets and can destroy them. Spawn a cloud that hits enemies standing under it with lightning. I have 256. So I can't get two of those, but I almost could. That one has a much higher trigger chance, so let's go with that. I guess I can just get infinite of those. I could maybe get a second one if I get some money here. But I'm not getting any money and it takes so long to destroy stuff with this weapon. Oh my god. Okay, that ability seems kind of bad, to be honest. I have two mods on it that increase the AoE and it somehow misses everything like that. Yeah, it's not returning at all, so that mod seems like it's going to be useless in most cases unless you can somehow get pierces on it. I guess technically you can fire it while those dudes are up in the air and then the return might hit them, but that's pretty niche. That is a lot of stuff on the ground. Dash gets stuck on terrain pretty easily as well. The game seems like it would be pretty cool in multiplayer, but I'm just not really liking the weapons for the two guys that I've tried so far. The super short range shotgun, and then this thing is kind of buggy with the reloads not working super consistently.
boss door unlocked. So that's the guy who killed me last time. Tell him I fought bravely. I'll slap him silly for ever banishing his most elegant mech to do such menial work. Don't even joke about slapping our one true king. That other part sounded good though. Somewhat hesitant to go all out. So you have to dash out of all of the melee attacks or they guaranteed to hit you, it seemed like last time. At least I have a bit of range this time. My reload keeps bugging out. Looks like the frost actually works on that guy, which is pretty strong. That was extremely fast. So it looks like he has some different skills since I picked something different here as well. That was pretty fast. Dash out of the melee every time. That was much easier on a long range guy, wow. Hit by the arrow are corroded. Can be only one can be charmed, but it lasts until they die and jumps. XP is needed for skill activation. So that would allow me to use it more often. Six percent execute, half as effective against bosses. Temporarily turn off enemy add-ins and deal more damage against champions. Increase crit chance when striking from behind. Uh, none of those sound that interesting. I guess probably just the execute. If I could get it to where the arrows would pierce through enemies, then the returning projectile doing extra crit from behind would be kind of cool, but I haven't seen anything like that yet. And it looks like we won the current game. So that's all that's in the prologue. Two bosses, I think, on that run. You can see the stats here, but it doesn't seem to show any damage for the various add-ons or anything. So I guess we'll see if we can get any meta progression here. So one full run and a loss and I can get one or two things it looks like. I guess scrap is probably the coolest since you can then add some cool proc effects with that. Then I could get some HP on top of that, and a bit of extra shielding. Still just the same stuff it looks like. I guess if you get one of these at the front, you could actually reroll that and save scum it. Reduce the damage, max ammo plus 50%. I'm curious if that works on a one ammo weapon. So that would actually be pretty good then. Stack ammo effects and then the single shot weapon actually becomes pretty strong. So that's going to be it for Moods Prologue. Pretty cool game. Probably more fun with multiplayer. But that's all you can do in the prologue for now. If you liked the video, leave me a like or a subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.